How long will season four last? Plus loot clarifications. Forever. Yeah. Let's get energy back into the show. <laughs> okay. Shorter runtime. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's shorter. That's it. I hope. We don't know anything else. <laughs> But it will be shorter. Okay, so for our past season runtime, season one was just under seven months, season two just under eight months, and so far season three is just over two months. Wow, it feels longer than that ago. Actually. It has been a very long two months. It's been a long two months. Uh, so typically then we would expect season three to be another five months based on the previous two seasons, but the 9.2.5 PTR is a bit further along and of course, Classic Wrath and 10.0 Alphas are likely going to be starting. So what's what's going to be going on? Hmm. Uh, well, what's this? Uh, so Batrick replied, or Scarzart replied to uh, Mephisto. Yes, CE and AOTC will leave when season four officially begins, which is not at the 9.2.5 launch. And that does make sense because uh, the 9.2.5 PTR has been on season uh, three. Yeah. Right, so that's clearly something they can do. Hmm. Uh, I suppose then, yeah, season three uh, is probably going to be another four to five months, maybe till September or October, and that'll be followed up by a four to six month season four. Yeah. And then straight into Dragonflight uh, in Q1 of next year. And now then, for some clarifications hmm. on the new loot system coming in, uh, of course, we put up uh, just a few days ago a video on Season 4 loot. Um, but yeah, just for some uh, some further clarification. So the tier system is going to be active. The creation catalyst will be active, but all uh, existing charges from Season 3 will still be there, which functionally means you can just get all the tier. Yep. Now, you'll probably need flux or whatever, yeah. but you, can, you, know, you can just get it at the rate you acquire that stuff. Uh, tier tokens won't be added to Nathri or Sanctum because, of course, the creation catalyst exists. Uh, Shards of Domination, Domination Gear, dead. Phew. LFR difficulty also does have Faded Mode, and all wings will be available. That'll be uh, cool, right? Yeah, then a World Boss will be Faded each week, dropping eye level 285 Faded Gear, uh, which is the higher end of normal, I believe. Uh, oh, fuck. <sighs> well, Season, like, Faded Nathria, all right? Yeah. Which world boss is up? Because there's four world bosses going to be up. So, does that mean you might never have a world boss that can drop the thing you want from the world boss at 285? That's a mi that's a very minor problem, but I was just immediately thinking, oh my god. It's like, you want the 285 thing from Valinor, and it just doesn't ever align. I'm sure yeah, with, the, with, the, with the cadence of three weeks and four bosses, it'll align eventually, but still, man, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I think just, those yeah. world bosses they do count to your kills uh, for dinars and uh, the upgrade items Yeah, if I remember correctly uh, for other mm. things then yep the vendors only sell weapons and trinkets because those are the most uh, sought after impactful gear so therefore they want those to yep. be targetable uh, it's the sort of thing if you're doing a, a limited selection of a few different slots like the old school VP system yeah. then sure but uh, with this, it's like super attainable and super powerful. Therefore, you would want to limit it a bit. So that does make sense yeah. to me. And if they were to do anything, it would be those. Uh, so they're not currently interested in ch increasing the amount of dinars. So it will just be three uh, for the entire of the season. Entirety of the season are just going to kind of suck if you swap to another spec or something. But at least for displaying your main, uh, yeah. good, whatever. Uh, they're thinking of adding heroic and mythic upgrade items to the vault somehow. But still require people to have raided the corresponding difficulties. I think that would be uh, good. Just yeah, look, the yes. vault right now, I fundamentally don't like it, but the more you just throw shit in it, then people get, perhaps by default, yeah. they can get by default good experience without having to go for the consolation price. Uh, maybe. Yeah, that's that's the thing that like is really like extremely forehead to me. Just, okay, so every week you get a stack of currency as well as your gear, mm. but instead they're like, take the gear or the currency. You're like, come on, come on, bro, please. Please, be nice. Yeah. I think this would be great, though, if, if this, those could come in. I think yeah, those upgrade sure. items are a really, really good addition for the game. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing where it's literally like, you know, you um, you get your gear, but also you just get a big stack. Maybe they have to, like, really code it in really shittily, and it's just some weird trigger where as soon as you open the vault, you get it documented, depending on if you fill three slots, two or one in a week. Something like that would be fine. But yeah. Yeah. That'd just be nice. That would be nice. Yeah, no, indeed. And then our, just our final thing, the upgrade items can skip difficulty. So the mm -hmm. mythic upgrade item could be used on an LFR piece. 
to mm-hmm. make it mythic. Uh, now, oh does my god, that, that means you have to spam LFR to get the gear you want to upgrade it to mythic? Ah! Re. Re. It, literally, it literally does, but fuck, who cares? Re. Yeah, I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah, don't do LFR. Yeah, no, open up the game. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So there you go. Just some uh, handy clarifications for season four.